Today, I'm taking you inside a deserted mental hospital that closed its doors in 2006. Together, we'll uncover remnants from the past scattered throughout this now abandoned wasteland. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're inside of an abandoned mental hospital. It's been a while since we've been here, but same weather, same creepy day. It's actually snowing a little bit right now, so it's just adding to the feel of this place. We're gonna head on in here, find anything cool that's left. Make sure you like, subscribe, and let's go. We're actually heading into the gymnasium. There's the muse. This place is massive. I can't believe how giant this is. Isn't that crazy? Here, we're gonna show you in more detail in a sec. I just wanted to walk down here and see. Oh, this must be the outside of the building here. Okay, we're heading down onto the gym floor. There's really not much left in here. The floor is like really peeling up badly. A lot of water damage in here, as you can see. Let me just take a look at that. It looks crazy. But yeah, no one's playing any games here for a while. This place is done. But it does have that apocalyptic feel. And it feels crazy just to be in here. It reminds me of another asylum rec room that we went to. It had the same like kind of kind of vents and glass up here. Just look at this floor here. It's completely, this is hardwood floors. They're completely lifted off the ground. All the rainwater pouring in here has ruined them. And you look right here, you can actually see the bleachers. So this is where, you know, patients were having games. They were watching each other play. And this place closed in 06. So, you can imagine, you know, by the end of that era when it closed, these patients were being treated right, they were being actually helped. That wasn't always the case here. And like many other places, more the times change, the better care the patients had, but you really never know. Because no one knows what happens behind closed doors. You'll see a spot like this, especially this size. I feel like any, like, asylum, gymnasiums like this were never this big. This one is absolutely massive. So we're walking up these stairs. We just left the gym. We came over here to check and we see this elevator. So this elevator was probably for someone with a wheelchair. I mean, it really was because there's the stairs right here. They can't use the stairs, so they wheel themselves in here. We're probably with a nurse. Actually, you see the buttons are left, so they would go up or down. And yeah, like I said, this actually does go down below me. So I'm kind of sketched staying on this. This is a section they're calling the Friendship Club. And this must have been a spot where patients can all get together and talk and socialize. There must have been a teacher in here. It looks like there was like a, some sort of pool table or something here. The chairs and tables. So definitely an area where they were talking with each other and you know, getting that social aspect in. And the more I walk through here, the more of a, like a better vibe than uh, most mental hospitals I get. But yeah, here's a pool table. So these patients were able to play pool and talk with each other. You know, so it wasn't always as bad as people make it out to be. But there was bad stuff happening. Even if it wasn't happening here, it was happening to other patients at other facilities. So it's something that we just can never forget about. Some, like, math homework here. Or something like that. And also found this. Is the Friendship Club attendance roster. I don't want to show any of the names, but it just goes to show you that there actually was kids here at one point, so I didn't even know that. This is the map of the building. This is the gymnasium, bowling alley, and this the whole other section here was a children's center. So we're gonna keep exploring, see what we can find. Let's go. Okay, so now we're on the outskirts. Heading into this room, this is the TV game room here. As you can tell, we got a lot of desks set up here and chairs. Really cool to walk through here. I feel like <laughs> there was supposed to be like a movie or something today. Now it's all closed. It's really weird to think about that, you know? There was, used to be kids sitting here trying to watch a movie or read, and now, you know, it's just quiet. It's just me and the muse exploring.
that was a pretty cool room, cool setup there. Gives you an idea of how maybe the classroom could have been set up back in the day. Well, we're gonna head in here, and this was the big rec room. You could hear Rebex Me was talking about the pool table. And here it is. Pretty crazy to think about. They had like four pool tables in here. So, I mean, can you just imagine this whole room filled up with patients playing pool, hanging out? Really hard for me to picture that, imagine it, but that was the reality of what was happening in here. And it's pretty cool to be here and see it now. And what do we have? A bowling alley. Crazy to see this. I think I've only seen this once in a resort and once in a mental hospital that's now demolished. So it's cool to imagine, you know, right now I'm walking where these bowling balls are being flung by these patients down here or whoever was playing, you know, having fun, trying to forget about where they were or even just be, you know, de-stress and play a game. But it's just crazy to be here. Once all lit up, now quiet and dark, just waiting to be explored. And we still have the scoring, the scoring charts here. And these were old school. This was not how it is now digitally with a TV screen. This was, you put this up like this, put your paper in and you physically write your name and you write your score each frame. So pretty cool to see this. Like you don't really see these often anymore, but this does look really old. Where the patients would be sitting, you know, while they waited for their turn. And all back here, you know, just how it is today. Got the ball return right here. Still in good shape. It looks vintage from like 1950. So cool looking. I like to just walk down here, just get a feel for it. There's still a lot of original bowling balls left. I'm surprised. Usually those are like the first things to go in the pins. I think the pins are more rare. Really grimy down here. We are at the back of the bowling alley. Really destroyed. The floors are really mushy and gross. A lot of water damage over time, but it's still incredible to see this. This one looks like it's from 1950s. Really cool vintage vibe. Here we are in the cafe section. This was right near the bowling alley. So, you know, in between games, come get a little snack. This place is starting to seem pretty cool. Overall, I don't know any other mental hospitals that had like a drink machine like this. This looks like you were actually at a bowling alley. Cool feel to this place. You can see we get a little closer. They still got some Nest tea, they got some Sprite. You know, you know, they're nothing, nothing's coming out. Unfortunately, I was a little thirsty, but it's still cool to see this. So here's the courtyard of this place. Pretty massive courtyard. You can see, you know, all the windows are blown out now along the whole entire side, but this was a place where these patients could come outside, get some fresh air, and relax. All right, so now we're heading up to what was the children's section. And the only reason why we found this out was because just looking at the maps that were in this place, it tells you everything that's left here. The top floor we're noticing right now is super destroyed. Crazy to think this place closed in 06, you know, only 14 years, and this place is almost completely destroyed. Yep, so this was one of the rooms up here on the top. This will give you a good idea and like a view. <laughs> so as so you can picture, this was someone's office. These were classrooms for kids as well. And here's the courtyard that we were down there before. I was actually over here looking out, so. You can see a pretty massive building, and this was just one of the buildings on campus. It was home to many other buildings, which a lot of other stuff happened there. So this is actually another courtyard. And we just came from this classroom here, there's the muse. So this was another set of classrooms. This one leads to an outside section, which I think is really cool. Some books out here still. And these like picnic tables, so you can just imagine. Students, patients, whoever was here, they were coming outside and hanging out in this courtyard, eating their lunch. There's a classroom that was in this mental hospital. This was part of their learning program here. You can just tell there's textbooks thrown everywhere, there's VHS tapes thrown everywhere, there's papers thrown everywhere. So this is why this was called the children's section, the children's center. Because they were able to come here and learn and get like a normal school feel. 
It's crazy that all this stuff is just thrown and left behind, you know, just to be forgotten about. Back room of the classroom, and uh, as you can see, we got a lot of old VHS tapes up here. I mean, a few rows of them. This is their little library they had. I don't know, the muse just found some paperwork. And Urbex Muse, she just found this. This is like a logbook. Maybe from like a teacher's assistant or a teacher just, you know, writing about one of the patients that was trying to learn here and, and actually looks like she was trying to get her GED. It's so crazy to think about all this stuff that's just left here. It's just memories and moments in time, you know, someone's life. They wrote this down and you now it's just sitting here alone in an abandoned building. Look, more coffee breaks that she granted herself. Hmm. Barely spending enough time in the room to receive credit for being present. Interesting. Yeah, this section was mostly like classrooms and like almost set up to look like a normal school. So this could have been maybe like a home ec room. Let me go back there. There's an oven. Yeah, that's what this seems like to me. Like a home ec style classroom. Got the ovens and like a sink and everything. Just wandering down some of the decaying halls. And we find a massive auditorium. Still has all the seats left in it, which is really cool. Because a lot of times, the seats are the one thing that gets taken out. And you're basically looking at a big empty room. But it's a little different here. And the floor feels very unstable. Just trying to like watch around and look around. Hey, look at that, guys. So imagine, you know, all of these chairs were just filled up. And they're doing shows or movies in here. And now it's so quiet and empty. It just gives you like a haunting feeling. Just to know that. We're actually sitting right now in the auditorium. I like to just sit and you know, take this room in, you know, it's not every day you get to see a giant auditorium with all the seats and chairs left. So it's really cool. I like to just put myself in the position of, you know, the patients that were going here, you know, what they saw, what they experienced, you know, I want to feel that same way. So for me, just sitting here, taking this all in, it's incredible. Walked up on the stage here, got the old grand piano. still works, surprisingly, in this condition. But I mean, there's no rain dripping in in here. You know, it's just a musty old bando. So, I'm not surprised this beauty is still in good shape. But we just found this abandoned ceramics room. And from the looks of it right now, it looks like it was severely burned and set on fire. You can even just see this phone over here. You know, not too much left of this thing. And here's the kiln. This is where they actually made all the ceramics. It's behind this little fence here. It actually even has a lock on it. To keep everybody safe, because these are dangerous. They do get extremely hot. You can see all these little empty bottles. These are all the glazes when you're making pottery, and as you can see, it's fully filled up. Okay, so we keep getting drawn into this place. <laughs> this was really intense for me to see this. And I was just looking down here, and I just started to see all this water. Look how much water is in here, guys. Oh my god, this is crazy. This is the most flooded I've ever seen. This must be at least five feet of water down here. Okay, we just got up here, we wanted to find these projectors. When we were in the theater, we looked up, we saw some windows. Us being urban explorers, we knew these had to be up here. Look how amazing these are, they're so old. And all of the old mental hospitals had these, you know, for entertainment for their patients. These are probably from at least the 50s. They just have that old school retro vibe that just goes to the rest of this place. So we're really lucky to see these. I mean, usually they're pretty trashed. But these ones aren't too bad. They're still hanging on. All right, everybody. 
So I pretty much explored this entire place. It was massive, way bigger than I thought, and had so much cool stuff left in it. That's why you just never know what you're gonna find. Make sure you hit that red button, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and like always, get out and explore more. Peace.